Hey there, it's Jim again. Um, so yeah, December 22nd, Thursday before Christmas. Um, just in the shop, it's still thawing out in here. So uh, I'm just kind of killing time, I guess. A um, couple things I was gonna go through, I guess. Uh, been talking with a few guys that uh, are interested in doing some of their own porting on their saws or having some work done. Um, so to cover some of that stuff off, I'll, uh, I'll just run through some of it here, I guess. Um, so porting is um, a whole bunch of things. So basically at the end of the day, though, what we're trying to do is um, help make this engine more efficient. Um, so some of the things we can do is increase the efficiency of the air coming into it through the intake side, whether that involves uh, any machining on the actual carburetor or uh, some of your intake to reduce the friction or increase the flow, your uh, intake port. Um, we, we measure the timing, which is basically when the piston gets to some of the key points on the cylinder, like uh, when the exhaust opens after the spark plug is fired and start to push the uh, piston down. Um, everybody has some numbers they're looking for to make it a bit more efficient. Uh, we want to try and get the maximum amount of power out of the engine but also um, allow our next charge of air oil and fuel uh, up into that <clears throat> combustion chamber to start our next stroke so <clears throat> um, we can also do other stuff on the on the bottom end um, this one's a 390 that I've kind of been putting off a little bit, but uh, anyways, so we, we talk about uh, port matching. So some saws, you actually end up opening a little bit of the lower crankcase up to uh, optimize that flow from uh, the, the uh, crankcase up into your combustion chamber through the uh, transfer ports. So these on this one are transfer ports here. That's how the fuel gets uh, from the crankcase up into the combustion chamber. So it comes through the lower ones and into the uppers. We can open these up, shape them a little bit differently. Um, if they're shaped, sometimes that will actually improve the um, flow and the, they call it a wash pattern, but basically how the air fuel mixture gets into the combustion chamber um, to evacuate the exhaust out of it basically and then um, some of the other stuff we talk about you'll hear the term squish and squish band squish band is this area up here in the upper part of the um, cylinder the basic start of your combustion chamber um, squish band basically is the distance between the piston where it comes completely up. It isn't going to totally touch that. Uh, we, we normally want somewhere around 25 thousandths of an inch of clearance there. A lot of saws come from the factory with as much as 70 thousand, sorry, 70 thousandths of an inch clearance. So if we can tighten that up, that's going to increase our compression. Plus, it's going to optimize um, how that charge burns in there as well. Um, and then, uh, where'd that one go that I just had here? Um, we can deck the cylinder. So when I'm talking about uh, changing the squish measurement, what we're actually doing normally is either machining down or decking the uh, bottom of the cylinder or sometimes we're building a pop-up piston instead 
or as well um, to basically increase how far this protrudes up into that uh, combustion chamber or dome and so if that if that protrudes further up into that that round dome void then what it's going to do is increase the compression in that uh, cylinder as well so those are those are some some things we can do um if a guy doesn't have a lathe then you're probably going to end up looking at uh doing pop-ups uh, i actually machined this one but um you can buy um you can buy pop-up pistons um, from like highway and some of those outfits the uh, highway has uh, pretty good quality pistons and uh a pretty good assortment of uh uh, they call them high compression or pop-up pistons. So um, that would be one thing if uh, if a guy's looking at doing something different there. And then another thing you can do is uh, if you're not going to be able to deck the cylinder, then you can uh, look at uh, different thicknesses of base gaskets right down to deleting the base gasket altogether. Um, a lot of these factory uh, base gaskets are somewhere around 18 thou and um, I've got uh, some pretty good uh, gasket paper that uh, is 10 thou so that basically reduces my squish by about eight thousandths of an inch so that increases my my compression and that would allow me if my if my clearance or my squish was uh, 32 thousandths, we'll say it was 33. If it was 33 and I went from this factory one uh, and I, I dropped down 8 thousandths, so 33 thousandths clearance, <clears throat> took off 8 thousandths by putting that um, other paper in there that's only 10 thousandths of an inch thick. So that would move me right to my number of 25 thou that I'm looking for. So, so that'd be something I could do. And that combination between uh, thinner gasket paper and a uh, pop-up piston in there would give me a really good increase in compression uh, without having to um, have a lathe and deck that cylinder base. So, just some ideas here, guys. So. Hope that helps you out. Um, there's a lot more science that goes into it, but uh, for anybody that kind of wants some of the basics or uh, a little bit of an understanding, I'm trying not to go too far with that for you and, and keep it simple. So, okay, have a good day.